Uh, I just wanted to answer a quick question here. This video is all about wholesaling real estate. How does it work? How can you make money from it? All right, so let's talk really quickly about wholesaling real estate, how it works. I have a question here that came in uh, from one of my previous videos and from one of the viewers. And the question was, how do you how do you find, uh, well, number one, how do you find contracts? But the second part of the question was, what if, uh, what if you run out of time? Like you put a, a property under contract, right? And you run out of time before you could find a cash buyer. What do you do then? You know, that kind of question comes from only one source. And I'm going to answer it right now quickly before I get into the details. And that answer is uh, motivation, okay? Motivation level. Uh, remember, you're only dealing with distressed and motivated sellers only. You should only be dealing with distressed and motivated sellers only. Uh, but before I digress too much into what that means, for those of you that are finding me for the first time, my name is Ola. And let me go really quickly what it means to wholesale real estate. What does it mean to wholesale real estate, right? Well, it's very simple. You buy low and you sell high, okay? You find real estate that's been sold for low and you sell high. Now, why would somebody in their right mind want to sell very low? Why would they want to sell their property that's worth a certain amount of dollars? for low, why would they want to do that, right? Well, typically people can own a real estate that they could be distressed for multiple different reasons, reasons, right? Uh, events in people's personal lives, events related to real estate, you know, there's uh, quite a few factors that make up uh, if owning a real estate property is uh, beneficial to any particular individual. So people could own a real estate, but that piece of real estate in their portfolio could uh, mean complete disaster for them, right? And, um, but if you took over the property for a lower than market value, it can mean a, uh, it can mean a, a simple stress relief for them. And you can simultaneously be picking up a nice property at a significantly low amount, lower than what is worth in the marketplace, or lower significantly than what is worth if, if, if it's repaired, okay? So a property could need 10 grand in work, right? And you take it over, and you buy the property uh, if you put that ten thousand dollars of worth of work in it it could be worth about a hundred thousand dollars more but the person that owned it before may not have that ten thousand dollars or may not have the bandwidth or may not be in a position where they can uh, where they want to dedicate that amount of time it, it may just mean a lot to them for you taking over even though at ten thousand dollars significant you know, so ten thousand dollars just repair. You could be picking up a hundred thousand dollars discount for just ten thousand dollars worth of work. So it's a bargain and it's a win-win either way. That's wholesaling. So if you put a property under contract, right, meaning you get the person to agree to sell it to you at a predetermined price. If you do that, and um, and you turn around, you don't do the work. You simply flip it to somebody who wants to do the work. For five grand, for ten grand, as long as it's still worth it for them, right? Uh, you can easily you can easily pick up a nice discount like that, a nice discounted property just like that, right? So, so that's how it works. That's how it works. So you're picking up discounted properties from distressed and motivated sellers, and then flipping it to cash buyers, right? So typically, a contract is, by definition, will have a term on it. There's a time limit on it. You can't just put things on contract and then indefinite, right? So at some point, they want you to execute. They actually want you to actually come up with the money and buy the property. But with wholesaling, you don't have to be the one personally coming up with the cash. You secure the deal, you find somebody else who has the cash, and then you flip the deal to that person, or you, what we call, you know, become a, a venture capitalist or, no, not venture capitalist, but you become a, a, a venture partner, right? Okay? So with the person that buys the property, there's all kind of different ways to structure it, okay? And it's not really your job to figure out the legal way of structuring. You should always have a, a lawyer on ground to help you with any deals. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. Your job is to secure the deals, is to find the deals. Your job essentially is marketing at the end of the day. So the question, the original question was, how do you, what do you do if you run out of the term of the contract, the time that you put, time limit that was on the contract and you couldn't find a cash buyer? That question is not really, um, 
it doesn't matter if you're dealing with a motivated seller right they're always willing to work with you because a motivated seller has a motive they want to get rid of the property they need to get rid of the property so if for some reason if you let's say you didn't do this right you did it all wrong and and that you run out of time maybe somebody else was working on the deal and then you well you're dealing with somebody if they say hey they don't want to do business with you anymore that's because they were not motivated enough in the first place there's a second reason for that sometimes it could be because you don't have enough in your pipeline if you have enough people in your pipeline you never have to worry about that kind of nonsense okay you never have to worry about somebody calling off the deal or calling off the contract plus people that are not motivated they don't have to wait until the term when the contract is expired they're not motivated they could call off the contract anytime but typically it's not worth your time to chase after them or try to fight it legally and say hey the time is not run out so you're not worried about legalities in this business you're not worried about the paperwork you're not worried as much as much as you're worried about your profits and if you want to create profit you want a pipeline with leads traffic and leads coming in every day to the point that if somebody calls off and say they don't want to work with you anymore it doesn't matter to you because you have a pipeline that's full you're always busy okay so two things the two reasons right there one you're either dealing with a non-motivated seller if you're dealing with a non-motivated seller they will call off the deal anyway okay they don't have to do it legally okay they'll they'll say hey f you i'm taking i don't want you to steal my house they'll find a reason they probably were skeptical in the first place and you didn't pay attention they're not motivated bottom line or if you're a motivated business owner a motivated business builder you would have a pipeline you will always be generating leads you will always be marketing for new deals you will always be looking for new deals all right and you need a filled up pipeline in order to do that okay so wholesaling let's go over that really quickly again wholesaling is very simple you buy low you sell high you buy low why would somebody give you their property for low because they're motivated they have a life issue going on and they absolutely need to get rid of the property that's called motivation they must get rid of the property either you take one month or you take two months or one week they just they they see you as the person that can help them get rid of the property either you buying it yourself or you're flipping it they don't care they just need to get rid of the property they don't care they just want to get rid of the property that's the key thing right there uh, if they care about how you're supposed to do that they're not motivated if they're worried about what kind of steps you're gonna do if they're worried about lawyers and all these other legalities and if they worry too much about that they're not motivated you're dealing with the wrong prospect which is what brings me to the second reason you need to fill up your pipeline so that you can move on from people that will waste your time typically in any business business most business ideas are dead before they start it it's the same thing with uh, motivated sellers most prospects and leads that come into your pipeline are not gonna become leads they're not gonna become a deal right they're not gonna become a profitable deal so because of that you must always you're in the business of marketing you must always fill up your pipe line and that's your job to fill up your pipeline have new business coming in every single day if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm in Newark right now I'm in Newark they just took me out of an uh, office building where I was working today uh, I was working on a on a project here right so does that make sense what I'm saying right now so two reasons I'm gonna go over that real quick again you need to be dealing with motivated sellers and you need to fill up your pipeline in a way that you don't care okay sorry about the noise I'm in Newark, so you can expect that from time to time, right? You, you're not supposed to be too worried about people that, that want to build on a, on a contract they sign with you. You're supposed to have multiple, you're supposed to be signing multiple contracts. So that brings me to the next thing here. How do you have a pipeline that's filled, right? Let me clean my face, my face clean, please me. How do you have a pipeline that's filled? How do you fill up your pipeline? How do you fill up your pipeline, right? Well, the way I do it is I use the internet, okay? I mean, where else should you be marketing today in this time and age? Where else should you be marketing? Not only do I use the internet, I generate free leads and free traffic, okay? Free leads and free traffic. How do I do that? Well, it's very simple, okay? You have your ideal prospect, and they're right now, as we speak, they're on Google right now. They're searching for answers to their problems, or they're searching for solutions to their problems. And if you're not paying attention to how they do it, um, 
you're going to be wasting a lot of energy or money on direct mailing trying to look for the best deal. Well, you could send direct mail, you could burn a lot of money trying to get leads from direct mail. But why do that if you're on this video right now? There are other people doing that for you. When people, when you send a direct mail to somebody's house, guess what they do? They pick up the direct mail and then they now go on the internet and they do a little bit more research. If they do their research, the question is, do they find you? Are you answering their question? How can they find you? That's something I go into details a little bit more inside of my, I go into a little bit more details about that in my, in my free masterclass. And you can find that, the, the link should be on the screen or in the description area. And that link is uh, allatalks.com slash mastermind. You wanna attend that free class? Uh, I will tell you exactly how to rank on the top of search engines when people search for solutions and they search for answers to their problems. Your ideal prospects already have an existing problem. If you're dealing with prospects that don't have a problem, again, you're dealing with people that are not motivated. The people you're going to be dealing with, you're going to help them solve a problem, okay? And the, best, the first place they go to when they're looking for answers to the problem and they're looking for solutions to the problem is Google. That's where they go. So how do you show up for free and Google literally advertise you as a business and brands you as the best person they should work with while they are most motivated. How do they come there in the first place? Well, the other suckers in the marketplace, they're sending them letters. And then when they send them letters, boom, they come on the internet to do a little bit more research, you show up. And then who spent the money on letter? Not you, why not? Because you know this information I'm sharing with you right now. And there's a method to that madness and that's what I go through in my free masterclass allatalks.com slash mastermind just go attend the free class and take it from there okay but i'm going to tell you right now if you want to win in this time and age in this digital age you gotta you gotta think from a hack standpoint you gotta be hacking the system if everybody is saying going this way you should be going this way because if everybody is going that way it's not it's no more a hack and chances are it's overpriced it's overdone like for example right now direct milling is overpriced okay why? Because there's oversupply of letters to pre-foreclosures, to motivated sellers. Everybody's trying to get them. If you go on the streets of Newark, you see we buy houses all over the place. You know what they call banner blinding? You see that long enough, you're not going to pay attention to it. But the person that's searching right now is right now, they're on Google right now. They're searching. And if you, if you find them, I mean, if they find you, it's always better when they find you. They're motivated. They find you. And... Uh, you know the demand is through the roof then you can charge any price plus you haven't spent that you haven't spent any money okay on on marketing to find these people does that make sense so that's what i have for you on this particular episode hopefully you've been enlightened hopefully i answer your question what do you do with uh, a contract and and you haven't found a cash buyer and then the contract expired well first of all you should be in a network where there's always cash buyer or at least people that have uh, access to buyers all the time. You should be in network and the best way to find that is be a part of a local association. That's the easiest part. The hardest part is finding motivated sellers and truly knowing your value to only work with motivated sellers, but also knowing your value that you need to build um, a pipeline that's always bringing people in so you don't have to worry about somebody saying they don't want to do business with you. It's really our uh, it's really a self-value thing, okay, when it comes to this business, all right? So again, make sure if you like this video, click uh, thumbs up, click subscribe to this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I will continue to bring you this value. And last but not least, make sure you go to the free class, olatux.com, O-L-A-T-U-X.com slash mastermind. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.